Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to use Test5Edit to clean up the master files, the official master files for Skyrim. Now this is a video aimed at mod users rather than the mod makers. Um, obviously mod makers can do this to their system as well. Um, and it will not be as detailed as the video I made for mod makers on how to clean their own mods. However, if you want a bit of background on why it is important to clean mods, you can check that video and it, it should give you a good idea of why it's also a good idea to clean the master files from Bethesda. Now you might be thinking to yourself, surely I don't need to clean the master files from Bethesda, surely they would already be cleaned, and the answer is no. Um, they're not. They are absolutely full of dirty edits and they're full of deleted references which can cause massive instabilities in mods. And you might be you might be horrified to hear that and think, oh my god, how could Bethesda do this? Um, but here is the thing, these dirty edits and these deleted references will not cause a problem in any game that is not modded. These these references and these dirty edits that they have left inside only become a problem when you start modding. So, you know, I mean, it, they are not really responsible for your game once you start modding it. However, a lot of us feel that uh, Bethesda really should <laughs> clean their master files, but they don't seem to want to, so we're going to have to do it ourselves. Now, I will explain to you the advantages of this as we go along, but I would just like to say right up front, straight away, do not clean the Skyrim.esm file. That's the main master file. Do not clean that. It does not require cleaning. Okay? But we're going to clean three files in this video. Currently there are only two DLCs. There is Hearthfires and Dawnguard. Uh, but we're also going to clean the update master. So I'm going to start up Test 5 Edit. Um, and the first thing I'm going to do is right click and select none. So I've got nothing selected. And I'm going to start, and you should do it in this order. I'm going to start with update.esm. Now it's going to need skyrim.esm as well, so you may as well select it. But just those two and click OK. It will take a few seconds while it loads all the resources. Now once it is done, I'm going to click on the plus icon here to open up. Um, you don't actually need to do that, but I like to see what's going on. Um, and then you're going to uh, sorry, that was left click on the plus icon to open it up. If you left click on this, it opens it up. I'm going to right click on update.esm and I'm going to select apply filter for cleaning because that's what we're going to do. We're going to clean this file, the update esm. Apply filter for cleaning. This could take a little while. Now, once it's finished, both Skyrim esm and update esm will both be highlighted in yellow. They will also have a slightly different colored text. Don't worry about the text color changes. This does mean something, and I am going to cover it in a future more advanced video, but for now, it's not hugely important. If I open this up, I can see quite a lot of things have been flagged as potentially needing cleaning. So I'm going to go to update ESM. Again, only update ESM. Only update ESM, right click. And we're going to start off by cleaning the dirty edits. We're going to remove identical to master records. Now, these type of records probably would not cause you any trouble. Um, theoretically, because update.esm always comes after Skyrim ESM directly in your load order, or at least it should, um, honestly, I cannot imagine there's any harm in these records. However, there's also no benefit in them whatsoever. They just take up space. So let's clean them. Wait for it. You'll get this warning and then you'll see, yes, I'm absolutely sure, eventually it will appear. Click that. As you can see, it has processed 963 records and removed 51 of them. That's 51 completely unnecessary records. We're now going to do something that's much more important and will have much more effect on your game. And that is we're going to right click again 
and we're going to go along to undelete and disable references. Again, you can check my previous video if you want to know exactly what this is and why it is a benefit. Uh, but this is the one, this is the one that is really important. Now, in an unmodded game, deleted references are, would not be a problem. But in a modded game, every deleted reference is a point of potential catastrophic failure. Um, that what could happen if a mod uses one of these um, objects that has been deleted can range, it can vary, but it can crash your system very, very easily indeed. Um, this, is, this is the important one. So we're going to click on this. Now it's processed 912 records and has undeleted only one of them. So it's only found one deleted reference. It has now undeleted it and marked it as disabled. It will have the exact same effect in your game. Don't worry about it. It's not like you're putting back something in game that's not supposed to be there. It still won't be there, but now the master file is safe. It is clean. Now we have to save it. So to save it, just click the close button and it should prompt you with just one file update.esm selected if for some reason there's any other file specifically skyrim.esm unselect that file unselect that file is very important um, in fact probably you should unselect all of them close it and start again you did something wrong as you can see though mine is just one file Make sure it's checked, make sure there's a little tick there, then click OK. It is now saved, update.esm, and it is clean. Now I'm going to do the same again, this time for Dawn Guard. Right click, select None, and I'm going to select Skyrim, Update ESM, and Dawn Guard ESM, and click OK. Now I'm going to be doing the exact same thing I did before, but again, only changing one file and no you cannot do all of these files at the same time very bad idea indeed um, so I've got this time dawn guard I'm going to apply filter for cleaning let it finish and once again once it's finished you'll notice a few things have been highlighted this time in red again don't worry so much about the colors I'm going to open this up just to have a brief look. I always like to check this thing. It's completely not needed for you. Don't worry about it. I'm just being nosy. Right click Dawn Guard ESM. Remove identical to master records. And we'll see this time processed 9826 records. It's a DLC. You would expect it. And removed 603 dirty edits. 603. And then I'm going to right click again, undelete and disable references. Now it's it's going to say it contains 57 deleted nav meshes which cannot be undeleted at the bottom. Don't worry about that for now. Again, it's processed 97,000 plus records and it's undeleted 82. So that's a lot more deleted references that could have caused problems for you. And that is now clean. Close that. Dawnguard.esm. OK. It's been saved. And lastly, I'm going to do Hearthfire's ESM. Now, if you're watching this video and more DLCs come out, um, I will try and update these videos, but just in case I haven't, you do the same process again. Whatever the load order is for your master files, that is the order you do those master files in just do not do Skyrim ESM. So, half fires ESM, right click. Oh, you have to wait for the background loader to finish. Right click, apply filter for cleaning. So, yes, you can do this to any future masters as well. And it should have a beneficial effect on those as well. And once it's done, once again, <laughs> I'm opening it up and being nosy again. I know you don't need to do that. <laughs> right click. Remove identical to master records. 17,797. Removed 171. Still quite a lot. Right click again. Undelete and disable references. Process 17,000 plus. 
undeleted 11. Not as many, but still. Still 11 places it could go horribly wrong. Close. OK. And that's it. We've now got all the masters for Skyrim cleaned. So hopefully now with a clean set of masters you will get more stability, less errors, etc. However, here's the bad news. If the game gets patched, it might it might update those master files. So every time the game gets patched, it's probably a pretty good idea to do the same process again make sure they're still clean. They might be. When it patches, sometimes it might just be the executable, but it might be the master files. There's nothing to say it won't. Plus, if you go along to your Elder Scrolls 5 Skyrim, right click and properties, if you go to the local files and you click verify integrity of game cache, now this is something you may do every now and again to check your game is, is working fine. Um, so if I do this, it will now check all the files, check their integrity, and if it detects anything that has been changed, altered, or is not quite right, it will re-upload them. And that will include the three masters I have changed, because it will recognize they are not the same as the ones the game's supposed to have, and it will re-upload them with the dirty master files, I'm afraid. If you do that, if you have to do this to fix some problem, you're going to have to clean those masters again. As you can see, three files failed to validate and will be reacquired. It is now re-downloading those three files that I just cleaned. Not a big problem because of course it only takes me a couple of minutes to clean them again. It's just important that you remember this. Okay guys, um, that's about it. Yeah, you should now be able to clean the official DLC without any problems, which will hopefully help. Um, I will be covering a lot more things with this tool. There's so many more things you can do, including merge patches, um, in a video fairly soon. Um, so keep your eyes open for that. That is definitely something you're going to want to do. Oh, and make sure on a regular basis you check the Test 5 Edit page and see if they've updated the tool recently. Um, it's always best to use the very latest version because they update quite regularly now and they're fairly important changes. It's going to help your game if you're using the very latest version. So keep checking back there. Always remember to read the documentation. Oh, and endorse. Endorse this tool. This is an absolutely essential tool, not just for mod authors, but for you guys, for the mod users. This is, I'm going to show you some things you can do with this that are really going to help out. So. Give them your endorsement. Give them a big thumbs up. Um, and uh, don't be afraid to ask them questions. Um, just make sure you've read all the documentation first before you ask them, just in case it's already been answered. Okay, guys. Anyway, I hope this video helped. Uh, if it did, remember, please click the like button down below. I always appreciate that. And I look forward to seeing you guys on the next video. And until then, as always, have fun.